We're going to be answering some questions in regards to probability density functions and more specifically about the conditions for something to be a probability density function. So let's just take a quick recap. For something to be a PDF, there are a couple of conditions. The first one being that the graph should be greater or equal to zero. Okay. Again, this is just a way of saying my probabilities should be greater or equal to zero. Okay. We don't want any negative probabilities. Now, my second condition is that the area under my curve should total one. Okay. So in any event or situation, we have different probabilities, but adding all the probabilities up, we should get one. Okay. So these are the two conditions. Now, if we take a look at some of the questions. In question one. It says, find the value of a so that the given function may be a probability density function. Okay, so we have fx equals to this function, a outside of 2x minus 1. Okay, and we're going to try and find the value of a for this to be a probability density function. Okay, now let's go to a little uh, domain in between one and, or 1 and 2. Okay, so finding the value of a, so how are we going to do that? Well, we know that the um, area under the curve should equal to 1. So area under this function must be equal to 1. So that's what I'm going to do. So the area under this function, okay, between my given 1 and 2, okay, that should give me 1. Okay, so if this is 1, then this will be a PDF, or a probability density function. So let's try and kind of clean this up and see what happens. So if I integrate both sides, a is a number, okay, it's a constant, just some number, some value. Okay, so it's not a it's not some pronumeral or anything, so we just we can just integrate it. So we can integrate 2x, okay, becomes x squared. If we integrate 1, it becomes x. Okay, so we're given with this, and if we evaluate it, and just put your twos in, minus all your ones. Okay, so putting the twos in, and then minus we're putting our ones in. So integration should be easy. And we're gonna try and simplify this. So 2 squared minus 2 is 4 minus 2, which is 2, minus 1 squared minus 1, which is 0. Okay, so my left hand side is simply just a minus, sorry, a times 2 is equal to 1. Oh, which tells me a is equal to a half. Okay, so that's the answer to this question. So finding the value of a, okay, well, if a is equal to a half, okay, well, then that allows my function to have an area under the curve equal to, equaling to 1, which allows it to be a probability density function. Okay, so that was answering question number 1. If we move on to question two, it's a very similar sort of question. We're finding the value of a pronumeral, sorry, not a pronumeral, we're finding the value of a, uh, so that the given function, again, may be a PDF. Now my function in this case is uh, fx is equal to 3x squared. So that's my function, okay? But my domain is not quite defined, okay? It's between zero and a. And we're gonna find what a is, okay? So we're gonna have a set domain so that this can be a PDF. Okay, so again, let's try and integrate it. So if we find the area under this curve between 0 and a, hopefully that will give us 1, meaning that it will be a probability density function. So let's try and evaluate this. So if I integrate 3x squared, I will get x cubed, okay, between 0 and a. That means a cubed minus 0 cubed. 0 cubed is nothing. a cubed equals 1. And finally, a is just 1. So if a equals to 1 in this function, Oh, sorry, in this domain. So if a is 1 and so my domain is between 0 and 1, then my function uh, 3x squared will have an area under the curve equal to 1, okay, which allows it to be a probability density function.